Okay, what's up guys? I'm going to be giving you my top 5 greatest moments in Dragon Ball Z. Now these are my opinions. Some of you may not disagree, but if you don't like it, make your own list. So I'm going to give you my 5 epic moments of Dragon Ball Z that I thought was completely ba badass, out of this world, and unforgettable, that onto this day, I love. Alright. Trunks, there's something you must know. You've made me proud, my son. Uh, why did you do to him? Why'd you do that? What's wrong with you? Why did you do that to Trunks? Why did you do it? Tell me, why did you do that to Trunks? Your dad, dads aren't supposed to do bad things to their sons. Why did you hit him? Why All right, guys, so like number five why? is Vegeta sacrificing himself during the Majin Buu saga. This scene right here was totally unforgettable just because Vegeta, he sacrificed himself for the good of him, his family, and everyone on Earth. This time, Vegeta was not fighting for his own selfish reasons to become the strongest and defeating Goku. He actually put that aside while being mind controlled by Bobbity to say, Trunks, I love you, and Boma, I tell her that I love her, and even for you, Kakara, you know that he's doing this for. And he killed himself. He gave himself for good and not evil. Even though it didn't save him in the long run because he did kill people during the World Martial Art Tournament, that he would not be sent to heaven. He will eventually be sent to hell. I am going to crush you and throw you into the wind! <laughs> Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. His name was Vegeta, a proud Saiyan prince. This thunderstorm is a perfect backdrop for your demise. There is no end for me. No end! Number four. Gohan gets killed by the androids and Trunks turns Super Saiyan for the first time. Now this scene, it was in the special Dragon Ball Z History of Trunks. Some people don't consider it canon just because it wasn't in the manga, but it is definitely canon to the anime. So, in this scene, Gohan goes for his last resort after barely making it out against the androids the first time, losing an arm, he comes back to try to fight them, he fails miserably, not even putting up a good chance, and he dies against the androids, and then Trunks comes and to witness the massacre, he sees Gohan lying on the floor, dead, and to see his best friend, Kill his only friend, 
kill through Gohan on Trunks into a rage. He could not believe it, and it triggered a Super Saiyan because in order to become Super Saiyan, you need to be either pure of heart, like what Goku said, or pure of evil, or rage, oh gosh, or just no. the need of wanting what to become a Super you, Saiyan. Gohan? Because Goku, he didn't want to become a Super Saiyan, he friend. needed to become a Super Saiyan. You were everything friend. to me. Everything! This just isn't fair! Gohan! 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 Super Saiyan 2. Now during this fight, when he fought Cell, Gohan was destined to defeat Cell by Goku. Goku believed that Gohan had hidden talent that was strong enough to defeat Cell. And Gohan knew about this. You want to make the same mistake, Trunks? You know, going to a rage and his power level would increase, giving him Don't immense power to defeat people. But because Gohan is not a fighter, like Piccolo also told Go Goku himself that you threw him into this, and Gohan is not a fighter. That Go Gohan, he didn't really want to fight. He thought it was pointless, and he did not see anything necessary to fight. And Cell, being the one to test his perfection, wanted to make Gohan angry. So he tried with the Cell Juniors, and the Cell Junior hurting people did made him angry, and he begged Cell to stop. But what set him off was when he killed Android 16. Yeah, even though Android 16 is just a robot, the reason he got mad was because Android 16 sold things the same way that Gohan did. That he wanted peace, and he enjoyed the beauty of nature, and everything. And that he was also similar to Gohan, just like Gohan. And Cell just stepping on his head, just, that was the last straw. And Gohan could not take it anymore, and just unlocked that hidden potential that allowed him to ascend, ascend to Super Saiyan 2. Number two. Oh man, this one is awesome. Vegeta gets owned, owned by Frieza. Now this scene, I could have chose Goku versus Frieza because it was the first time to a Super Saiyan, but I had to chose Vegeta himself against Frieza because Vegeta was going on and on about becoming 
the Prince of All Saiyans. He's going to get immortality and he's going to destroy Frieza. And he has so much confidence. And to see Frieza's power ascend to levels he thought imaginable put fear in Vegeta. Vegeta thought he had a chance after being healed by Dende and hoping to get a Zenkai boost to give him powers to become a Super Saiyan, even though he don't know what a Super Saiyan Vegeta, is. And literally his his whole effort was futile. He could not lay a hit on Frieza. Frieza could do all the stuff and move so fast and dodge him. And when Vegeta threw his strongest attack at him, Frieza just knocked it up with a kick. And not only that, it was the first time you saw Vegeta cry. Vegeta cried because he saw that it was pointless. He can't do nothing. Frieza is in another league ahead of him, and you know he's going to die. And not just die as just himself, but die as the prince of all saints. And knowing what Frieza did to his planet and to all his people, and knowing that as a Saiyan, he could not avenge no one. Well then, shall we begin? All that Super Saiyan garbage you were spouting. But I thought I should give you a sporting chance. There you go. I was just checking your reflexes and they seem to be fine. Let's try it again just to be sure, shall we? Number one, Piccolo sacrifices himself for Gohan during the Saiyan Saga. This scene is my favorite scene. And I know some of you may be disagreeing, saying that, what, Super Saiyan 3 was way better than this, and all this stuff, Final Kamehameha, and all this, but no, no, no. Piccolo sacrificed himself for Gohan is my favorite scene, just because the animation was so beautiful the, of when he was blocking the attack and when he got hit. It sort of looked like a manga sketch. But not only does the animation was superb during that scene, but has Piccolo, the one ruler, Demon King, he was pure evil. And to see that he got in soft, and Gohan became his only friend and the only true person who cared about Piccolo and Piccolo cared about Gohan and even though he'd been a little bit rough with Gohan he cared about him like his own son and protecting him was the last thing he could do to show his thanks for all the kindness that Gohan showed him even though Piccolo was a little bit rough during the training but it was for his own good to make him strong but it was for your own good. I'll never give up! You're like the son I never had. I'm proud of you. Please. Goodbye, my friend. That was my top ten, I mean top five, greatest moments in Dragon Ball Z. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, comment, subscribe. And check out my channel. You know, it doesn't hurt. I will gladly appreciate the subscribe. Alright, all you guys, later.